These are the kind of gloves you want for chemicals around the house. They go way up on your arm. They don't go all the way up, but they go up far enough so in case you splash something on you, such as paint stripper or something like that, where it's going to burn you if it gets on your skin. But uh, all right, well let's let's go through this. This time I'm going to go backwards. <clears throat> we'll go the acetone first. Since all this stuff dries so fast anyway, then we'll go to the, the other stuff. Seems to work fine. All right. Lacquer thinner. Gloves seem to be holding up very well. I mean, you won't be doing this with your products. I mean, you might. I don't know, but. Okay, denatured alcohol. Okay, that's all evaporated. Those are your hardest chemicals. You know, one thing I haven't tried yet, we haven't tried gasoline. Of course, you know this stuff evaporates very quickly. Yeah, it makes the gloves a little sticky, but it doesn't feel like it's... Gasoline works great. So now we'll do the mineral spirits. Just makes your gloves really, 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 really slippery. So far, so good. Paint thinner. Mineral spirit seems to evaporate a lot quicker than paint thinner. I mean, it is evaporating. It takes a little longer. By golly, so far, so good. And of course, the coal oil. You know, you pour this on charcoal, real slow burning, gives it plenty of time to soak into your charcoal. Okay, well there you have it. By golly, now this is all for just doing stuff for residential. I'm not getting into the toluene. You shouldn't even use that stuff anyway, residential. Xylene, any of that hard cut stuff because you need respirators for that stuff. But uh, yeah, all these work great. All right, well, good luck on your next cleaning project.